Hi, welcome to the first edition of the Weekly Recap, brought to you by TheMortgageReal.com. Our commitment is to take information from a global and national level and bring it home to you, the residents, past clients, friends and family of Washington State. We begin this by reflecting on the past week. Just last week, there was a unified effort of the central banking systems globally to stabilize the banking systems. They did this by cutting the short-term indexes by 0.5%. Now many of you have expressed interest, does this mean that I can refinance or does this mean that my interest rates have fallen? Unfortunately not. As history has proven to us, bond markets, the mortgage-backed securities, mortgages react adversely to an interest rate cut. What does that mean? Inflation. Now again, with the word inflation, interest rates go up. The rate cut, inflation, interest rates go up. Unfortunately, that's the pattern that we've seen for the past week. This does not mean that it's going to continue this pattern as there's still concerns about where the economy currently stands in the United States and globally. The word recession is being used. So in normal cases of a recession in a stable financial market, there are many, many opportunities in most cases. That's a generalization in most cases that you're able to refinance at lower rates. Now let's look at what's going on on Wall Street. Now it's interesting that they've talked about Wall Street and Main Street. Main Street is us, the small guys, the people at home, the homeowners, the small business owners. Wall Street seeing 1,000, 800, 600 point swings not only just within a week, within a day. This normally took months to happen and is now happening throughout the day. And within a week we're seeing averages again increase from a thousand points to possibly even falling 400 points and then swinging back in the same day positive 400 points as it did just yesterday. One of the key things that happened this week though was an announcement by the Bush administration on Tuesday. This included the Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson, the Federal Chairman Ben Bernanke, and the FDIC Chairman Sheila Blair. What they announced is they're, they're going to be using $250 billion of the $700 billion bailout plan to inject into our financial institutions. Some of these institutions included the largest banks, Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, and the Citigroup. Now, what does this mean? Recently, and over the past three to four weeks, we've heard about the credit freeze, the credit markets being frozen. Well, just within the last 24 hours, they're now starting to indicate that those markets are beginning to thaw. Now, how does this translate to you, the homeowner? Now, questions are being asked. Is it still possible to get a loan? Is it still possible to buy a home? The answer is yes. Fannie and Freddie have not gone anywhere. They're still very sound institutions, and they're still lending in today's market. But they're lending based on some principles that we've lost over the past three to four years. Going back seven to eight years ago, we had full documentation loans. They based it off of your debt to income ratios. They based it off of what you could afford with your net income, right? There was no really creative financing that we've seen here within the past three to four years. So they've gone back to the more traditional common sense lending. So lending is still completely available. Now, really again, how is this gonna translate for the long-term future? No one really knows still with the instability in the marketplace. However, what we do know that with this bailout plan, and now the liquidity is starting to come into place. It's probably going to take the next 60 to 90 days for us to really see the impacts of it, but everything is starting to show some signs of positivity, some signs of optimism. And that's the message that we want to clearly deliver. So don't, be, don't, don't panic, don't be afraid. The market's still going to go through some volatility, but as Time Magazine had put it through over and over and over, over the decades, it's a cycle and it's clearly been defined this time as a business cycle that we must go through. So we also wanted to point out lastly, in case you have a LIBOR arm, or an arm, a five-year arm, a 7-1 arm, whatever the case is, if you're on an adjustable rate mortgage, pay attention to the LIBOR rate. We saw a pretty big spike in it, now we're starting to see that ease. But if you're coming up on maturity on an adjustable rate mortgage, you wanna be paying closely to what's going on with that rate. We're going to be talking about that more on a couple of our other postings, so please stay tuned. Thanks for joining us for this first one, and please use the Mortgage Reel as a valued resource to get information about what's going on, how it's impacting the market, and most importantly, to really decide who you're going to be working with. 
right now is a time that you need to work in with a professional that understands how these markets are changing and how to use those markets to bring home the best advantages for financing options, interest rates, closing costs, whatever the case. But if those people, the professionals that you're currently thinking about, you're we're going to be working with, can't provide this valued information, we would request you to stop and ask why. You want to make sure that the professional that you're going to be choosing, the professional of choice, understands how these marketplaces are going to affect your most valued investment, your home. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.